I now wish he will have some more time to pursue his other passions in life. Thank you. May I now request Justice Patel? <laughs> thank you, Chief Justice, and thank you, all of you. Thanks to my colleagues for setting a new tradition. This hasn't happened before. It's an honor. It's a privilege. It's one that I don't think I'll ever be able to repay this debt of gratitude. How one acquits oneself in this enterprise of the course of justice is something that we can never assess ourselves. Somebody else will assess that for us. Time will assess that for us. And one day, as we stand before that most exacting judgment of all, the judgment of history, that alone will tell us how well or badly we have done. So this is not a time for that reflection. This is a time for thanksgiving. I do not believe that anything I have done or anything I was able to do was ever at all remotely possible without the constant support, assistance, and help of every one of the members of the bar, from the senior most to the junior most. I did what I could to assist the juniors. From the seniors, I got nothing but guidance, careful. And there was another band, smaller one, some are here today, of friends, they happened to be lawyers, but they were first friends, to whom my debt is truly unrepayable, because they had the courage of true friends to be able to phone or call on me and tell me how egregiously wrong I was and why I should mend my ways and should not have acted as I did. That is very reassuring, knowing that you have at least one friend who can tell you when you've set a foot wrong. It keeps you on the right path. Whether you're successful or not, as I said, is a measure for another day. This building, you all know this, for me, has a special place. There's no other building like it anywhere on the planet. It's not something we should forget. I don't know where the future will take the institution of the Bombay High Court. I would beseech everyone that please do not let go of this institution. At least keep something here. And when you do set up another institution, wherever it is, do just one thing to carry forward these 150 years of justice delivery. Take a stone from this building and lay it as the foundation stone there. Keep that bridge alive. This connection on both sides, I have never lost. You all know my chamber is on the third floor. I fell in love with it the day I first saw it, though it was the shambles. We spent a lot of time putting it together. The PWD was extremely cooperative. But I loved it most of all because of the two trees that are outside it. The two very different trees. One is a cannonball tree. The other is I don't know what. Their leaves and branches are intertwined. One tree loses all its leaves several times a year. The other is as perennial as the grass. Their roots are so jumbled up that one does not know where one is and where the other is. The branches are full of magic. You see squirrels foraging for food. And every year a pair of kites builds a nest for its hatchlings there. Justice Kulkarni and I have lingered by this pair of trees 
talking about something or the other in the evenings. And as the sun goes down, that light that comes through the leaves shimmers and dapples through the walls, right into the chambers through my glass doors. These are moments of magic in the High Court. Justice Kulkarni, who I miss, he's not here today. And I was standing there and we remarked, and he said, look at these trees, where is one, where is the other? And I said, you know, this doesn't matter because every morning and every night, it will remind me of the one thing that sees us through. These two trees are like bar and bench. They cannot do without each other. Each will support the other. And as long as they are together, we are in good hands. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. I will resist the temptation to look at you and say, seriously. <laughs> but allow me this, my final act. Allow me to stand, give you my final bow.